Hey people, <clears throat> Sylvia's here. I am now going to do the last mission of the Red Fens quest line. Granted to me by this dude, who I'm now flagged for. My people say you've done much for the Ravenite clan, outsider. For this I thank you and welcome you as a friend. Yet I must ask one more favor of you, something I cannot ask any Ravenite clan member to do. You must make an alliance with the Swaggin. Ally with the Swaggin? I thought they were your enemy. Indeed they are. However, I have just been contacted by a group of Swaggin rebels who wish to overthrow their current leader. They want the Swaggin high priest slain. It would be a grave offense to their god if a Swaggin were to do the deed. I wish to help them slay her, yet I cannot ask any raven eye to aid the Swaggin who invaded our home and killed our clanmates. So I turn to you, outsider. You can do what we cannot. Seek out Ta Prin, one of the Swaggin rebels. She is secluded location far to the north of the ancient Zira. She will tell you more. Alright, there is a minor bug. This quest is the Swaggin Stronghold, and it's completed literally once you talk to her. There's a minor bug where if you don't talk to her in the right way, uh, this won't leave your journal, and it'll stay as a like active quest, even though you've completed it. Um, you have to talk to her just once, and then like exit out of the chat, and then uh, then get the reward from her. If you do anything else, it'll stay in your, like, journal as an incomplete quest forever. So none of that's actually, like, important. You'll still be able to go on to the next part. It's just, like, a minor, minor no annoyance. Hey, look, it's Beacon. The Drinker of Fear. No, oh, I don't mind if I do. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? No success. And a zombie. Technically a drowned. Wow, that hurt me too. Look at that. Oh, they hurt me quite a bit. Do do. I'm going to. Eh, I'll kill the, the black pudding. These are uh, significantly more annoying when you have weapons that can be damaged by acid. And also, if you're using a slashing weapon, they're significantly more annoying, because they split. I don't have enough key. Oh, boy. Kill you. And kill you, who made me frightened. Good question. Who did make me frightened? Whatever. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm kind of just kind of run past everything. I have, uh, you can see I have on the Slayer count over there, 889 out of 1,500. Uh, it's highly unlikely I'm going to hit the 1,500 threshold. So, uh, I'm not going to really bother with trying to increase my Slayer count much. And I have all the Explorers and all the Rares, so we're basically good here. Do-do. So yeah, uh, again, the the wiki said talk to her once and then exit. From atop this opening, the Sahagan's underwater base is clearly visible in the inlet below. Yeah, so you close the window, you pick your thing. Wow, these are like jokes, by the way. <laughs> Take the heroic deeds, and then you go back and talk to her. All right. You're the one the Raven Eye sent. Good. You look more formidable than those bedraggled savages. I represent a group of rebel deep water swaggin who wish to do what has never been done, kill our own high priestess. Normally this would be a grave offense against the devourer, yet this high priestess has abandoned our god and taken up with some foul thing from another plane. She must die for this blasphemy, but still, it's not fitting for any swaggin to do the deed, so I will teleport you to our base yonder. Once there, you can kill the heretic. What's this thing from another plane? I do not know exactly. Some time ago, our high priestess learned that an invader from another plane was held trapped inside a ruin in the swamp. She sent an expedition to recover the planar fetter that bound the invader. Now that she has found the fetter, the high priestess has ceased to worship the devourer and says that this invader has transformed her into some kind of god. She must be stopped. And why don't you guys take care of it herself? It would be neither wise nor proper. Our laws forbid harming a high priestess even if she is a blasphemer. Besides, we rebels hope to rule in her stead when the high priestess is gone. It will be easier if her blood is on some surface dweller's hand. But we're wasting valuable time. Come, I will send you to the base. There my allies will cast an enchantment on you so you can breathe underwater. I'm actually going to rest and get my, uh, my dragon mark thing recharged before I go in. There is a optional in this quest at the end of it. 
um, that is exceptionally difficult. I'm going to try it, and if I fail, I fail. I will teleport you to a safe place where other rebels will meet with you. They will be provided with an enchantment that will allow you to survive in a world. Alright, let's do this. Uh. Oh good, they Oh, okay. Well, shrines. And I guess I can leave. A Sahagan priest tends a glowing portal. The portal seems fluid, like water. And you feel you could just step right through it. The priest gestures. Allies, the devourer watch over you. Before you lies one of the many portals to our realm. Its magic will bless you and allow you to fight in our waters. Make haste. Our leader of Vizira wishes to speak with you. Find him waiting in the depths, past the portal. What will this portal do exactly? Mark you in the eyes of the devourer as one to be shielded. The magic is complex, but as I understand it, the shield is a sphere of air for a surface or like you. It allows you to walk and fight on the ocean floor as you do on land, though you will not be able to swim like a swagon. It is a compromise we created long ago for the clumsy kind. Anything else I should know? The air shield will allow you to move and swing your weapons with some freedom, but you are still deep underwater. Many spells will not function here. Magics of fire and gas will not work, of course. Lightning, however, is most effective. Now you should go speak with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are basically under the effect of a slow spell while you're here. And a feather fall effect. It's a, it's an interesting thing where it takes a little bit of effort for you to speed up. Welcome to our world, Landwalker. Let us recap your uh, objectives. The High Priest is within the palace beyond our reach. The palace is guarded by ancient guardians, two powerful water spirits. It is currently impossible to get inside. <laughs> when the priestess abandoned her old ways, the guardians almost turned against her. To prevent this, the priestess had the High Mage bind the guardian's will inside special prisons. Our reports indicate that there is a prison for each guardian in two different locations. Where are these prisons? One is located in the ritual chambers of the royal temple to the west. Beware the spirits there. The demon has tainted them. To the east you will find the entrance to the scrag mines. They lead to the old water temple. The high mage guards the other uh, prison there. We are outnumbered, surfacer. If you can thin out the loyalist numbers here, it is more likely we can spare warriors to aid you directly. Otherwise, we will save our strength for the final attack. So yeah, you like need to build up momentum when you move essentially it's it's really weird the salagan can swim you cannot <laughs> this is uh, as far as i know the only quest that takes place underwater and it is a strange strange quest let me tell you i'm gonna summon arkin and leave him here So, I think I collect some sea paul. I don't know why I'm collecting that, but I'm collecting it for a reason, I imagine. So yeah, your attacks are going to flow slower here. The swagon have a huge environmental advantage over you. Um, fire magic I don't think will work at all. Gas magic, like cloud kill and things like that, won't work. Lightning magic, my understanding is it's like doubled effectiveness or something along those lines. Um, besides those things, I mean, everything basically works the same way it would normally. That guy sucked. Yeah, I can tell this quest is going to be a, a painful process already. Don't swim. Yeah, they'll swim. <laughs> Guys suck. I'm not exactly sure how the reduce the loyalist patrol things work. I mean, obviously, you know, you kill enough of them, you get the thing. But I'm not sure what exactly it does. That is probably not good. <laughs> it's probably not good. Yeah, I don't have enough key. Okay. I think I'm going to switch to fire stance. Yeah, your uh, your lightning hits will do well here. It's good that they all decided to target my um my hireling. 
Yeah. All right, so you'll notice that they're immune to fire damage, but they're taking double uh, electric damage. I'm stunned. How did I get stunned? All right. Yeah, that was not exactly great. Not exactly great. <laughs> Mage of the Depths. I don't know what that is. We'll kill it, because why not? The Mage of the Depths is a uh, champion, which is not cool. Uh, if you could just kind of... Yes, have that happen to you. That would be great. Oh, I was totally just holding the right uh, click instead of the left click. That was awesome. Is he hitting me with electric attacks? Why would he be doing that? Okay. Well, I got a chest, so that's all I care about. That chest, I'm pretty sure, is from the fact that he was a, um, a champion-type monster. Oh, good. And I successfully boosted it. Yeah, because I got the Mysterious Remnants. Check that out. So that chest was only there because he was a uh, champion, and I got lucky. Alright, so let's go up... Well, let's pick up another Sea Paul, which I'm still not really sure what they are. And Colossal Clam. Swamp Pearl? So yeah, I don't know, as you can see, this is just a really weird quest. It's very, very strange. Very hard to tell what's happening at any given point. Um, the Swagon don't really stay that far, like, they won't stay above you in the water and, like, rain range attacks down upon you, but it's still a pain. And we got another champion in there. I stunned the wrong one. That's cool. <laughs> stunned the wrong one. Stun him, please. Good, stunned him. And killed him. Okay. Gonna call uh, Arkin over to get a heal for me. <laughs> this quest is such a pain. I do believe the uh, Swagon respawn, so you kind of want to be a little careful where you just, like, dump your Hireling. Alright, nobody in there. This is the Scrag Mines, maybe? The Mines, yeah. I don't want to go into any of the spots yet until I finish thinning out their numbers on the sides. Pick up the Sea Paul, though. I still don't know what that does, but yeah, I'll pick it up. Stunned. Patrol's reduced. I have to keep an eye on uh, my hireling, because he won't, like, fight back if he starts getting attacked. <laughs> He'll just stand there, waste all of his mana on heals, and then die. Okay. I did get a decent 1,408 EXP from that. That's entirely a not inconsiderable amount. You just got some swagging hanging out. Alright, dude, it's not cool if you stay up on the ceiling like that. I gotta stop using, uh, wasting my key on Fire Strike, though. See, it's like, I can't tell how much... I can't tell like, if I'm hitting them at all because their numbers are above me like that. And I have to weird out my uh, like camera angle. Old Water Temple. I believe that's like another exit or another entryway into the mines. As I said, I'm not going to utilize it until I'm done here. Okay. I'm not going to jump down anything again, like this. Because this is a pain. Oh, nice. Critical hit, though. To do. All 
There we go. By the way, like when I said that you can respawn and like attack your hireling, and uh, Arkin is like a particularly poor hireling, uh, because they'll heal themselves, the hirelings, uh, watching his HP isn't really the best way to figure out if he's getting hurt. Uh, watch his mana. Because if his mana starts going down, that means he's healing himself. So it's a lot easier to keep track of the, um, the mana number and just notice that it has changed rather than his, um, his HP. Because if he goes down, he'll just heal himself and then go back up. And you might not notice that. Still, a lot of times, by the time you'll notice, it'll be too late and he'll be dead. Arkin is really bad. Uh, his, like, his AI is really bad. And, um... He doesn't have a lot of, like, the concentration skill. And the concentration skill is, um... Relevant because it... Oh, wow, I'm kind of dying. You just not... Okay, I was gonna say, like, Arkin, you just gonna not heal me? Uh, the concentration skill lets a mage, like, still cast their spells while they're getting attacked in melee. Um, and Arkin seems to have, like, a low concentration. So when he's in melee, he'll keep trying to heal himself and then fail because he doesn't have enough concentration. So he'll just stand there failing to heal himself over and over again until he dies. Because Arkin is a moron. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Alright, that was the mine, so I've already checked out there. Oh, I've got company, apparently. Company. This is, uh, I think, the only mission that has underwater combat. Uh, it's funny, because, like, a lot of people were asking for it. They were like, oh, man, you should put, like, an underwater combat mission. You know, put an underwater combat mission. It would be so cool. And then they did this, and then everybody was like, wow, that wasn't cool at all. <laughs> Not cool at all. All right. Pick up my Colossal Clam. A rosy Swamp Pearl. And a Sea Paul. Whoops. I think yeah you don't want to go over there because those things will kind of kick your face in until you do the thing where you make them weaker and then that optional thing I was talking about it takes place in here but you uh, can't do anything with it until you've completed the quest so it sucks because uh, if you die after you complete the quest, you still won't get like credit for completing it. Um, so yeah, if you like try to do this after you've you know like reduced all these patrols, done this whole like slow and kind of annoying quest, and then just die, you just have to do it all over again. Like I'm having, I can't like focus fire on them because they're above me. But they're hurting me quite a bit, which is not cool. What's this? That's our rebel hideout? Okay. Ah, crap. Stun the wrong one. Great. So our rebel hideout is is not up there. It's uh where's my god, I don't know where my hotkeys are anymore. I'm just gonna use my um wrong weapon to okay, I didn't select it. That's cool. Yeah, see like Arkin's just standing there while it's attacking him. Just being like, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> it's whatever. Alright. The nice thing about Arkin, though, is he does not have the uh, annoyance that I have with moving. He can just move. God, so many of these guys are champions, too. It's kind of annoying. Uh, 
Uh, Alright, that's where that chest was. I'm glad that that chest shows up on my map so I can kind of use it as a, like, here's where I was marker. That's our, yeah, that's our hideout where we came out from. I'll keep picking up these Paul things because I don't know what they are. Actually, I'm going to go talk to some of the people in here and see what they have to say. The fight goes poorly, Landwalker. Can you truly turn the tide? Welcome, Surfacer. I am Priest Nisek, devoted to our old ways. May you show no weakness before the devourer this day. A priest? Since we happen to be allies today, can you heal my wounds? No, my magic is reserved for my brothers in battle. But if you aid me, I may be able to spare a few healing items. There is a plant that grows here in the waters called Sea Paul. Collect 20 Sea Paul and I will reward you. 20 Sea Paul? Got it. How many do I already have? <laughs> I await your return with the promised 20 Sea Pauls, Landwalker. Do not linger in the depths long or something will find you. Try not to go belly up on me before I get back, Sea Devil. How many do I have then? Sea paws? Alright, I have seven so far. That's quite a few more than I need. Eight. <laughs> you. Yeah, it's so hard to tell like if I'm close enough to be hitting them and stuff like that. Dude, a whole bunch of fish people are getting the crap beat out of them, literally, by a little uh, lady that's, like, punching them in the face repeatedly. Dude, why do they all go after Arkin? And why do I keep hitting the button for Fire Punch when I know it doesn't do anything? So many questions. Hmm. I wanted to go check what this structure is here on the right. So let's do that. Oh, it actually kind of looks like something I can't even get to. So let's ignore it then. Ugh. Gotta get 14 more of them out here, plus my sea paws. I have no idea what he gives me for collecting these, by the way. Presumably something, I just don't know. Do, 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 do. I actually think uh, using the vicious hand wraps is causing me to take less damage overall. Because I'm killing them so much faster. <laughs> I think. It's the stun, of course. Like, I can't, I can't tell which one's which and anything that's happening. It's kind of cool. And that's why this quest is annoying. Just throwing that out there. It's even hard to tell, like, when you successfully killed them. Colossal Clam. Sea Paul. What do we got over here? Some kind of structure. I believe the sea paws uh, respawn given enough time. So if you run out, you're not completely stuck. Royal Temple back at entrance. Grab another one here. Like, every time you stop moving forward, it takes you forever to get like moving again. So it's just kind of better to just not stop moving. Fortunately, sometimes you're forced to stop moving. Arkin, I really wish you would stop wasting your mana. Well, I just gotta kill six more of these guys to reduce their forces sufficiently again. Five more. Four more. Three more. And there's one of them. And it's Sea Paul. <laughs> Went right after Arkin, who's now just standing there while it's hitting him. 
I've failed my priestess. See, Paul. Swagging. I'm having like, is it like, am I hitting him? I don't think I'm hitting him. I don't think I was hitting him. All right, let's just fight this guy since I can't seem to fight that guy. <laughs> we'll just give up on him. Arkin is definitely gonna need to hit a rush shrine soon. Well, he still got half of his mana. I guess it's fine. There we go. Solid 3,000 EXP. Can't complain. Alright, at this point, I just want to get my sea paws and also check and make sure I'm not missing any colossal clams. Virgin Swamp Pearl. And I have how many of those? 14? 16? Do 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 do. Mage of the Depths, who's also a champion again. Can I like pull some of them over to me? Yeah, and not like fight the powerful mage at the same time. Don't worry, Arkin. I don't want you to like participate until after they're basically dead. Just just stand there and take a whole bunch of hits and then just steal the last hit from me. That's exactly what I want from you, my dude. Dude, I can't wait until I hit level 12 <laughs> so that I can get a new hireling at the very least. Yeah, I can't hit this guy because he's too far up. And now he comes down. And then he goes after Arkhan because Arkhan has to shoot him at that point. Alright, I just want the mage. Too bad I didn't get the stun. That would have been amazing. If he could just die, and it would be even better. Okay, he didn't give me a chest. That's, a, that's too bad. Because the chest would have been, like, legitimately cool. But no luck. Alright. We're just gonna go get my sea paws and then leave. I totally have to stop uh, jumping though. Alright, after this one, one more sea paw. We'll go turn these into what's his face, use the rest shrine that was over in that area. Kill this dude. Slowly continue on. Oh boy. Sea paw. Alright, that should be all the sea paws I need, so we'll turn them into that guy. Hopefully he'll give me some experience points. Also, I want to make sure I'm not missing any more colossal clams. I don't know exactly what those uh, pearls can get me, but it's something. Alright, here we go. So yeah, we're going to go into the rebel hide out, because I knew there was a shrine there. Here it is. May I just add that this stuff is pretty gross? What you say is less than relevant, Surfacer. However, your gift of sea paws appreciated. Now, tend to your task as I will tend to mine. I see wisdom in your words. Take this and go before others notice that I've shown favor. I'll do just that. What did you give me? What? <laughs> What did I get? He gave me three potions of Cure Moderate Wounds, that's it? Oh, it looks like he gave me a wand of Cure Moderate Wounds, too. Okay. A moment of being able to walk normally again. Not sure if I should use the shrine. He keeps talking to me. Okay, Arkin, use the shrine. You moron.
Okay. So I'm not gonna use my I'm not gonna waste my shrine use in case I need to use it in the future. And now I'm slow and miserable again. You're a champion. The depths. Into the deep. Alright, since the uh, mines, I guess, are closer, we'll do the mines. Uh, can I just, like, ignore them? Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of ignore them. Just gonna run past them. First, I'm gonna open up the pearl, though. Run away! Run! No! Stop hitting me! Stop it! Stop it! There we go. Oh man, I'm not underwater anymore. Thank God. Across Look. the room, a Sahagan mage appears to be using magic to force a group of scrags into some kind of mining operation. A group of guards watch Magus. Scrag devoted. Now these guys are weak against fire. In fact, I'm not even sure that the whole like weakness to water thing is still relevant here. Nice, Troll Hunter. Got EXP. Okay, so by killing the mage, it made the scrags go... Uh, whoa. <laughs> Running away from things that heal is kind of annoying, but what can I do? Slay scrags to cripple the mining operation. I will gladly kill all the scrags. Killing things is kind of my uh, my favorite task here. Do 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 do. Can I kill him while he's still mind controlled? Yes. Okay. I can. Good to know. Why do they go straight after Arkin? Okay, and they're only weak against uh, electricity when we're still underwater. You would be able to use fire spells, as you can see by the fact that my fire punch is working at this point. Uh, you can use fire spells and all those types of things now, you just couldn't do it before. I want the treasure bag and the mushrooms. Especially since I got a fragrant drowshod. Drow I don't really know. Mage of the Depths. It's hurting me. It's hurting me. Keep up the, uh... Alright, if we could just get this one off Arkin, that would be great. Trolls and ogres and all those kind of things tend to have pretty high, um... Fortitude save, which means it's pretty hard for me to stun them, but... I tried. Hmm, critical hit. Good timing on that. I don't want Arkin to keep healing me when I'm, like, at 200 out of 270. But I do want Arkin to heal me when I'm at, like, you know, 60. <laughs> Arkin just basically can't do anything, right? His, and his heal is, like, enough to heal me fully, but it uses a ton of mana, which is also part of the reason why I don't want him to just waste it on me when I, he doesn't need to. Because it will basically full heal me at this point, no matter what. Alright. Next group. Alright, let's kill you. <laughs> kill you. Come on, I gotta kill the mage. There we go. Oh hey, dropped the chest. I don't know why, because I don't think it was a champion. Was it a champion? It was a champion, that's why I dropped the chest. That's awesome. I have to kill these two last scrags, and then that uh, optional is accomplished. 
That was slightly a disappointing amount of EXP for that, but whatever. Dusk Brood Trumpeter. Incidentally, the Dusk Brood Trumpeter is not a mushroom. It is a bug. It's a big beetle. Oh, hey, and there's a uh, treasure bag over there. Sick. Got the success. And that was another one from the fact that, that guy was a champion, which is cool. Looks like just more scrags. Wow, he hit, he's hitting me kind of hard. Yeah, wow, he hit me, wow, consistently kind of hard. I'm gonna just pull them. Really? I just missed? <laughs> that was uh, annoyingly difficult. For no good reason. Straight after Arkin, who was standing there doing nothing. Ugh. Hit him with the fire damage. And hit you with the fire damage. Arkin, you're just wasting your mana so bad. The worst part is that I can't really just like let him stay all the way back because if I let him stay all the way back, I'll get too low and then he'll I'll pull him over, but he'll be stupid and then not heal. All right, I am gonna have I'm not gonna have him use the shrine right now. I'm definitely gonna have him use the shrine right now <laughs> because now it looks like we're in some kind of dead end. Ooh, snap. <sighs> the high mage sits perched above you, protected by his magic. Held before the mage for the moment is a huge scrag. You sense its confinement. Greetings, worms. I've prepared special wards for your arrival, so I'll be quite safe. Now let me introduce you to my favorite pet. I guess I kill him. I'm actually going to use my uh, my haste goggles. Arkin, where are you? I noticed you're not healing me. Oh god, Arkin, I noticed you're still not healing me. on him, even though I literally just tried because I'm an idiot. That looks like Tensor's Transformation, I think that spell's called. Oh god, negative levels? Are you kidding me? I'm not sure if my Harling can fix negative levels. Okay. Yeah, negative levels, not cool. Oh, I didn't realize those were things I could break. Well, this thing has a lot of HP. <laughs> Arkane, if you're gonna attack it, please just attack it without using spells. Immediately start shooting spells at it. Good job, Arkane. We're going to switch to the other hand wraps. <laughs> Is it hostile? Okay, it's not hostile. Yet. 
Thank you, mortal. Since the taint of the demon came to the old priesthood, I have no wish to remain here any longer. I will not bar your way. Okay. And we got piles of gold. <laughs> I like piles of gold. Did I succeed? Success. Fireproof Faycraft Scale Mail of Death Block. Not bad. And the uh, the greater law essences were nice too. And we got a rest shrine, which I kind of don't need to use. Especially since I know I can access it through this path now. Alright, yeah, those guys definitely were just respawned. Alright, I'm probably going to end up with the next, like, you've killed enough people bonus by the time I'm finished, so I'm not going to actually go out of my way to track down any of these people. Especially since fighting them is a pain. I don't know if these Expedious Retreat boots are going to make a difference, but we'll... Oh, Jesus. I ran right into these guys. And I really wish I hadn't. Yeah, yeah, I know. There you go. Yeah, the Expedious Retreat is kind of not doing anything. So yeah, there's only one of the Hearts of Water now. So now we're going over to the whatever that place is over there. The, um... Temple? Something? See, Paul, I don't need those anymore. I'm not going to pick them up because then they'll be in my inventory and they'll take up space and I'll probably forget about them. I'm pretty sure they'll leave my inventory when I leave the quest, but... I'll probably forget about them during the quest and if I end up filling out my inventory, I'll kind of be stuck. All right, Royal Temple. Can I not be underwater again? Oh, thank God I'm not underwater anymore. Hey, I vaguely remember this person. To your surprise, a drow woman slips out of the shadows. She beckons you close. Stranger, I didn't expect to find you in this place. You are no Swagon prisoner. Perhaps I can help you. If you help me, first tell me why are you here. I'm here to slay the High Priestess. She's the cause of the Swagon attacks on the Red Fens. Can you help? Yes, if that is your goal. Know this. Ahead of you lies the ritual chambers of the Swagon priests. They hold my people. I offer this advice. Be wary of the wild water spirits. They will only attack if approached or attacked, but are quite terrible. The demon seems to have touched them. The priests keep the magic of this place going. Killing them will cause the creations to fade, including the bearers. Now I would ask of your aid if you're willing. What would you have me do, Drow? Many of my people have been dragged below the waves to serve as sacrifices for the Swagon's rites. I have been here observing the water fiends for some time now, and have devised a plan to help my people escape. There is a secret exit in the first great cavern. If you free my people, tell them of this place so they may gather near it. I will wait there and provide them with the means to travel to the surface. Alright. All right, let's, um, what is it, a helmet? There we go. Breaking stuff. I love breaking stuff. Do -do. Too bad they're not, um, <clears throat> weak to electricity anymore. Oh, look, another spot where I'm gonna fall down and then get stuck. The water spirits prowling before you Ugh. both power and great need. Yet the spirits seem preoccupied with some internal struggle. If you keep your distance, they might not notice. I'm gonna kill him anyway. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill him anyway, because you know why not? I want my, uh, plus they'll go into my monster manual as a unique thing. That, by the way, is a Herazu or something like that? Herazu? Okay. Oh, look, it's a drow elite. Mushrooms. A bruised spore pod. 
and a sour dark cap. I do kind of wish uh, my hireling would back off and just let me take care of this, though. Miss the stun. Can you just, like, why do they just sprint to my hireling? He's standing there doing nothing. He's literally useless. <laughs> They're like, I need to kill him. He needs to die. Drow prisoner. Thank you, stranger. At least I'm more comfortable now that the spell binding me has faded. Yet we are too deep for me to swim home without magic. Can you help? Yes, there's a secret door by the altar near the first waterfall. Wait here and help will come. Okay. Take my Kyber Dragon Shard Fragments. No Vandal yet, still just on aggression. Did I, like, miss? I did miss levers down here, good to know. There's apparently a, um... Ugh, two of them. Alright, well dismissed. And your turn. Oh, wow. You made your save. Good job. Still killed you, but otherwise, good job. Okay. Got him out of there. And I can get you out of here. And I can get you out of here, Mr. Champion. I guess this is the hidden passage. Yep, hidden passage found. Hell once more. Many of my people still remain prisoner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's one of them. A magical barrier of war pulses in river to the not so distant hiss of Sahagan Perhaps if you Okay, so I can't go through there yet until I kill the other the people, I guess. Lever to hit. <laughs> Too, uh, too far away. Not stunned. God, they're hitting me, like, kind of hard. Doesn't help that my weapon's killing me either. You, get out of here. And break all their crap while we're at it. Alright, looks like everybody in there. It's one drow, and there should be one left. Who is, I guess, in here somewhere. Oh, literally right there. Do do, do 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 do. Do, do. All right, that should be all the drow. Without a word, another drow scampers into the shadows, seeking Tezera's secret door and freedom. Most of the drow are either dead or on. All right, let's go talk to her and see what she has to say. Oh wait, it closed again. My people, you a great death this day, stranger. We dare not linger any longer. May Volker gui uh, always guide you in vengeance. There we go. That's annoying. <laughs> That was annoying. I mean, good timing and all, but still annoying. Breaking your stuff. Going straight after my hireling again. Mage of the Depths. Can I stun you? I'm not doing a great job. Oh, no, I did do a great job. I did successfully stun her. Cool. Another one. Did not successfully stun. How many poisoned me, looks like? Because I got hit with a neutralized poison in that. Man, I can't wait for this quest to be done. <laughs> I, I hate the red fens. Oh my god. I just, like, I desperately don't want to be here. <clears throat> got observance. 
Straight after my hireling again. At least none of these guys are champions. Because they're already kind of tough and are immune to my, like, instant death attacks. <clears throat> Breaking your stuff. I was going to say, this definitely looks like a hidden compartment here. And this definitely looks like a trap of some form. Well, we'll do this. No dice. You know, I've never tried using it a second time on the same chest. I should probably try that. I mean, I know I wouldn't be able to stack it, but if the first failed, I wonder if I could uh, try a second time. I should probably try that, yeah. I'll try that in the future. I'll do it in some kind of like wilderness area or something like that where like I know what's approaching because I don't want to waste my uses in here. Do 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 lever time. I got mischief. Glad I got that. I did not notice that one over there. Alright, everything in here? Where did that uh, elemental just go? Seriously, Arkin, you have 245 mana. Stop attacking him. Yeah, like, just Arkin, stop. <laughs> just stop. Alright, a shrine, that's good. We're definitely gonna use the shrine. Both me and Arkin. I got a ceramic bowl. That's cool, I suppose. Mischief, onslaught. Observance, <laughs> Persistence, Flaws, Victory. There's also one you can get for disarming traps. I don't think I've seen any traps, though. are not what I want. Oh snap. That was a good time for haste. Oh, I'm so glad I was able to dismiss her in one try. <laughs> Alright. More of them? Or would I just have to break this? Break it better. Okay. Another wave. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. Ugh, Arkin, are you kidding me? This is bad. really bad, actually. Oh, man, I so don't want to lose at this point just because Arkin died like an idiot. <laughs> just keep breaking this thing. <laughs> oh, God, another wave.
Oh my god, Arkin, you stupid idiot. You just died like a moron. Oh my god, I don't want to die. Oh, I don't want this to end right now. Alright, get out of here. Okay, back to the stupid thing. If I can kill it and get to a shrine, I'll be fine. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Arkin. Whew. That was, that was intense. What do you mean it's out of his range? He's standing literally in front of it. Arkin, you're such a moron. Alright, I'm gonna actually try this again and see if I can. Arkin, you're just not gonna heal yourself, you're just gonna stand there with 20 HP. God, Arkin. That was, uh, that was pretty intense. <laughs> that was... <clears throat> that was, that was pretty intense. Alright. I guess it does look like I can keep using this? Although, I mean, I'm not succeeding, so I'm not sure if I'm just wasting them right now. Well, there is a rest shrine for me, so I'll be using that. Okay, so apparently I can just keep retrying. Arkin, use the rest shrine, please. Okay. That was, again, that was a... That was a... I could have, like, definitely lost there moment. It was a good thing only one of them was a champion and whatnot, but yeah, that was... that was not cool. Arkin, uh, definitely... sucked. Break all this stuff. Stupid Arkin. Okay. <laughs> okay. Vandal Onslaught. Now we're going into the main entrance. Which is... Wow, I'm super far away from it. How many annoying fights am I going to have to go, go through before I get to it? I could just avoid everybody. It would be great. I have a, like, very real concern that I'm going to end up, uh, dying at the optional. Because the optional is, like, legitimately pretty tough. Pretty tough. And I know I've died at the optional before. With the elemental prisons destroyed, the water guardians have abandoned their posts at the palace gates. You can now enter. Okay, if you would just casually die, thank you. And we're just going in the palace. Nothing, uh... I figured there would be, like, a colossal clam, but I guess not. No dice. Oh, I'm so excited about not playing the Red Fens anymore, too, again. I don't know if I mentioned that. It appears that the rebels have already established a foothold. A gray skinned Sahagan captain beckons you closer. Instead of talking to him about the plans for the impending attack, I'm gonna just, you know, break the pottery. Alright, Arkin, get over here. We've cleared the palace entrance of Loyal's forces. The taste of blood is already in the water. The high priestess has chosen to make her stand in the hall of feeding to the north. Go there and finish this. We will guard our, your our backs. If we can spare the forces, we will send some aid. I apparently can't get through that. I am, however, going to continue breaking all of your stuff. I want my uh, bonus EXP. Teammates? Okay. Dead folks? And we're going to have another drop down, get stuck in the room fight. That's Those are my favorite. An unnatural form 
shrouds the High Priestess as she glares at you with pure hate. So these are the rebel allies. Is that all? We are not impressed. Was it your choice to betray us, Priestess, or are you that demon's toy now? Good, some of the gray skins show themselves at last. Let me, whatever. Let me show you the power of the new path. Well, now I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> they all look the same to me. But Arkin, once again, is getting pounded by everything, and if he dies like an idiot, I'm gonna flip out, Arkin. Look, he's, look, he's just standing there. It's gonna take me forever to kill those guys. <laughs> and everybody's attacking Arkin again, and he's being an idiot again. And we've got spears raining down on us all over the place. I don't even know what's happening anymore. And now we've got Scrag forces. Scrag devoted. Devoted to what? Seeing Arkin die, apparently. He's gonna die again, I can tell. He's just standing there. Just eating all the attacks with his face. Arkin, actually, I want you to stand over here. Stand there. Immediately runs back into the fight. Good job, Arkin. High Priestess of the Depths. Is this the actual boss? Oh, that's not good. That's not the right button at all. I gotta kill this thing because these do tons of damage if you let them. Yeah, Arkin just like standing there taking all the, uh, the spears with his face and then just doing nothing. It's great. That attack was Chaos Hammer, it looked like. I hope she doesn't, like, turn into a demon or something and make me fight her again, because Arkin has basically no mana at this point. Because he's healing the stupid Sawagon. Are there more swagging up there now? The time turned back to the old ways. Rejoice. Yeah, if it would just die. Oh, man. I need a slightly better uh, throwing star for sure. Because this is kind of brutal. Ransack, conquest. Alright, I'm not even going to bother killing those guys. I'm just going to leave. Now do I... Okay, there's my shrine. And my multiple treasure chests. I love multiple treasure chests. Alright, Arkin, get over here. Arkin, use the rest shrine. You stupid moron. <laughs> I hate Arkin. I hate him. Is he even using the rest shrine? Is he just standing? What is he doing? Fail. And the swagon are just going to keep yelling about the, the tide turning. Fail. 
fail. Let's see what this guy has to say. You have served us well, mouth breather. Keep these trinkets that the high priest has hoarded if you wish. Yet, Top Print has instructed me to ask your assistance one last task. It's even more dangerous than all the trials that the devourer has placed before you. Um, <laughs> I'm listening, but I don't do crocking. Bad for business with House Lorander. That. I fear nothing, the sea swagon. What would you have me? The portal to the demon is still open. Top Print can seal it, but the demon will always be a temptation for our people while it lives. If you are truly a great hunter... You could enter the portal and find the beast. Slay it once and for all. If you do this, Top Prin will retrieve you and reward you, of course. Retrieve me? As in, there's no going back? No, Surfacer. If you go, you can only return once the demon is dead. Also know this. Top Prin says it will truly be a mighty foe on its home ground, and will likely have allies. Only the mad would attempt this alone. If you wish to make the attempt, merely step into the demon's pit. The pit lies outside the very heart of the base. Yeah. I'll try. Whatever. It would be really cool, though, if this would be successful one of these times. Yes, the video has been kind of long. Wow. Alright, no luck. Impressive trophy. That's cool, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, look. Dampened frozen plate. Huh. Bound to me now. Alright, I'll rest, and we're gonna try this. So, if I lose, I lose. You won't get to see the end quest rewards because I will have to redo this quest. Uh, I will not redo this quest as another video, though. It'll just be... That'll just be the situation. Alright, folks. So, yeah, we just go straight ahead at this point. Hopefully, uh, I don't lose, but... You know, it can happen. I vaguely remember this... this I vaguely remember losing here before, so it's it's not cool. And am I gonna have to fight him in the water? Oh god. <sighs> here we go. As I slowly, slowly, slowly fall. Arkin, however, is not having that problem. He's falling nice and fast. We. We This is almost making me like a little bit motion sick right now. Just, just a little. There we go. Thank god I don't have to do that again. So yeah, I think that that liquid deals damage, and I also think Arkin's just continuing to stand in it, which is awesome. Yeah, it's a CR-22, which is uh, not a great thing. I want to deal as much damage to it as I can before it starts summoning allies. Also, I'd appreciate it if Arkin would get out of the, like, Acid Tar. Nope, he won't get out of the Acid Tar. That's great. Oh, it knocked me down. And flesh renders are not cool. Fire reavers, these ones are called. Dude, is it just gonna keep knocking me down? How am I getting knocked down so often? And is Arkin just going to continue to stand in the freaking lava? He's totally just going to continue to stand in the lava. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose. Basically just because Arkin is retarded. Alright, let's switch to this. Dude, seriously, Arkin, just get out of the f the tar. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just standing in it. Look at him. He 
he just wasted all of his mana by healing himself because he won't move out of an environmental hazard. Look, I still can't get him out of the environmental hazard. I've got him on follow and he's still just standing there. Go away, look at that, Arkan's dead. <laughs> what a surprise. The moron. Well, I'm gonna be dead next, so... I mean, okay, so, like, this may have been possible if my hireling wasn't literally the worst thing in the world, I think. <laughs> but he literally just stood there in the, the lava. Which is just absurd. Yep, I'm dead. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, folks! <laughs> So, so, like, to be fair, that quest is actually really hard, but that was absolutely moronic, because Arkin is just terrible. Oh, God. Why is this my new spot? Alright, well, I just wanted to get back so I could showcase where the, um, the thing is. No, I don't want to go in there. No. Cancel. Stop. How do I leave this place? This place is called, like, the Hall of Heroes or something like that. I just want to get out of here, though. Okay, good. I just want to see if, like, I succeeded on the quest or not. And Arkin's a freaking moron. Oh, I'm so happy to not have to deal with that crap anymore. <laughs> I'm so happy. Let's see if I, if I can tell if I completed the quest here. It'd be under House Kandarak. House Kandarak, Caverns of Cormair, Claw of the Volcor, Fathom the Depths, Forgotten Caverns. Um, the Last Stand, Prisoner, Planet of the Night, Thrasic Arena, Vault of the Night, A Small Problem. I don't even care at this point. I just wanted to end. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if it counts. I, I'm i not sure if it'll count. It didn't in the past, but that was kind of stupid, so I'm thinking that maybe they changed it so that it would work. We'll see. If not, I'll just do the quest over again and then freak out. Or do I have to talk to Top Prim? Okay, so I have to go talk to Top Prim. And report my success to him. Okay, so I'm gonna run all the way back through the stupid place. Hopefully I don't get killed because I've got 31 HP. That would be the highlight of my day. <laughs> Dying in the red fens because I didn't heal fully and don't have a hireling to summon. Actually, I'm sort of am dying. Can I get another drowned? Dude, stop hitting me with stupid poison crap. I don't have time for this. Let's just get up to the where top rim is and call it a day. I really hope I don't have to repeat the quest. I really hope I don't have to repeat the quest. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, I'm level 11 and that demon was a CR 22. Uh, and had tons of HP, but... Still, like, I don't know if I would have been successful if Arkin hadn't been awful, but Arkin was awful. I'm blaming the entirety of that on Arkin being a piece of crap. I hate these Will-O-Wisps, by the way. I hate everything in the Red Fence. It's what? It's full of undead elementals and plant-type monsters, and the, um, the other things. All things that I can't stun and can't critically hit. All the enemies have ranged attacks that they're perfectly willing to use over and over again. 
Uh, so they won't always, like, charge up to me. They'll just stay away and keep throwing spears at me. It's everything about this place is annoying. That, on top of it, I had, like, annoying luck with the rare encounters. Oh, let's see here. And I have no idea how long this video has been, but it's been long. Probably an hour and 15 minutes, looks like. Do not expect us to offer thanks, Landwalker. Your act was shameful, though necessary. Still, you have prevented my people from sliding into heathen barbarism. Take this and be gone. Acid Repeating Light Crossbow, which is for minimum level 4s, which makes tons of sense. Elder's Cap. This item is one of the two pieces of the Elder's Knowledge set. When both items are equipped, you will grant you Acid Fire and Electric and Cold Spells. 33% chance of critical hit. Sacred Helm. Death Block. Eternal Faith. Increase the owner's effective level for the turning check by 2. Well, that's not great. <clears throat> yeah, that's not great. Siren's Belt. That's definitely not good. Soundproof Splint Mail. Ring of the Mire. Nope. Spell Penetration. Nope. Cat's Grace. Mysterious Bottle. It's actually used in crafting. I think I'm going to pick that up because the other things I don't care about. Alright, folks. That was that. Um, I'm never going to the Red Fens again. Wee <laughs> like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. And I will regret this experience for the rest of my life.